Hello everyone. Welcome back to Geomorphology. Today, we will look into the planetesimal hypothesis regarding the origin of our solar system. The planetesimal hypothesis was postulated by Chamberlain and Moulton in the year 1905. Chamberlain, who is a geologist, and Moulton, who is an astronomer, postulated this hypothesis basically to solve the problem relating to the origin of Earth. And this hypothesis was a redefined form of earlier collision hypothesis of Buffon. Chamberlain and Moulton proposed the planetesimal hypothesis with the help of two heavenly bodies in the universe. One is a protosun and the other is a companion star which we also call them as an intruding star. The behavior and the character of the protosun was entirely different than the other stars in the universe. The protosun was made of very small, cold and solid particles and was not circular in shape like what Laplace has postulated in his nebular hypothesis. A companion star was destined to pass very near to this protosun. As the companion star came closer and closer, large number of small particles were detached away from the protosun due to massive gravitational pull exerted by this companion star. The smaller particles detached from the protosun were later on termed as planetesimals. In the beginning, the planetesimals were just like the dust particles that vary in their sizes. Few planetesimals that are fairly big near the protosun started becoming the nuclei for the formation of present day planets. Large planetesimals later on started attracting smaller planetesimals and they grew in the form of planets. The remaining protosun later on changed into our present day sun. Similarly, the satellites were formed due to the same mechanism and process that happened during the process of planets formation. Chamberlain also attempted to explain the evolution of Earth and its components through three specific stages in this hypothesis. The first stage was the period of planetesimal acquisition. It was the period of acquisition of present day shape and size of the Earth. The second stage was the period of volcanism. In this stage, the evolution of the interior of the Earth and the origin of continents and oceans were happened. The third stage was the actual geologic period. This stage is concerned with the formation of folding, mountain building activities, formation of plateaus and other geological features. However, it should be noted that these stages cannot be separated from one another as they are so interlinked with each other. Let's evaluate the hypothesis from critical point of view. The universe has an infinite space and hence the possibility of a close encounter by an intruding star with the protosun has been disregarded by many scientists. According to the hypothesis, the size of the planets were dependent on the amount of particles attracted and accreted by the nuclei of larger planetesimals and the amount of particles available in the particular orbit. Thus, the size of the planets are based on the accretion of particles by the larger planetesimals and thus they should not necessarily be arranged in order to, on their size. However, the present day distribution of planets in our solar system is almost arranged on the basis of size. You know well that Mercury to Jupiter increases from their size and from Jupiter to Uranus 
the size of the planets started decreasing so such an idea was also criticized another question posted by the scientist was how come eight planets were only formed and that was not been able to explain by the scientist according to the hypothesis planets have remained in solid state in the beginning itself but the later on studies proved that the inner planets from mercury to the mars were initially in the liquid state planets in the outer circles are now with lower density and is in the gaseous stage hence this was also not been able to explain by chamberlin and molten friends i hope you have enjoyed the session for any queries or suggestions please post in the comment box or in the google classroom thank you everyone and have a great day